Welcome to another edition of Wild Duke. I'm your host, Ethan Plattenborough. Today, we are exploring a brand new habitat known as the Nicholas School for the Environment, where we'll be looking at a very strange creature known as the Nixton. Now, oh, look, there's my map. Notice how she is walking, not paying attention to her surroundings, because she spent the entire day in that building there behind me, studying all day for an MP. Let's go take a look inside, shall we? Now, if you see here, we've managed to sneak up on a group of students working in the GIS lab right now. They appear to be mostly worms, which is one of the subsets of the next student. We're going to try and take a look inside and get a little closer, see what happens. Now, you see, we've managed to get in a little closer to them. And if you look carefully, they clearly have not been outside, judging by the pasty color of all their skin. Because they've been in here all day. Hi, JP. Oh, oh, that's a great specimen back there. There appears to be a second year. Oh, he's noticed us! Run! <laughs> so we've located a second computer lab in the school. We're actually a little afraid to go in this one because these students seem a lot more focused and a little bit more aggressive. And we're afraid that if we walk inside, they will actually attack us for being too loud. Now, if you notice here on the window, they put these markings. I believe it's to actually stop people from walking into it because no one could tell that it isn't a door instead of that. Um, if you look over there in the corner, you see a second year. She appears to be sending emails of some sort. It's truly fascinating stuff. And I've managed to get a nice view of one of the more aggressive males of the, of the group. And there, you can see, there he is, working on his computer. And it appears he's noticed us and he's doing he's an aggression dance. <laughs> we should probably leave before he gets too angry. All right, and it appears we've cornered a small group of CEMs, which is another major substance, in this small room. Now, if you look, it appears that they're working on a NASA project and discussing the presentations. What's surprising about this particular group is that they've chosen to hide in the dark, considering the CEMs seem naturally adapted to being on bright beaches, rather than in the darkness of the pure such. It appears we've been spotted again. We're going to try and hide a little bit and get another view. Behind me, you'll see that there's a large group of foresters, as well as a top student, sitting down at that table. Now, if you've noticed, I'm wearing a Nicholas a Duke Forestry hat. I'm going to try and blend in and see if I can assimilate myself among them. Let's see what happens. It appears they've accepted me into their culture, and they're not going to maim me. So, on that note, this is Ethan Blattenborough signing off. Unfortunately, during the filming of this, one of the Nick's students attacked my cameraman and tore his ACL. This video is dedicated to Francis O'Jerry.